a key onlooker in the Las Vegas mass shooting submitted suicide and executed his little girl soon after the FBI struck his home. John Bileman was needed by government operators in association with a specialized gadget found in Stephen Paddock's lodging room at the Mandalay Bay. The FBI had attacked Bileman's home one day before he shot his impaired girl and after that himself, as indicated by sources near the examination. Neon Nettle reports, agents executed a court order and attacked Bileman's Williamsburg drive home the day preceding he took his little girl, Nicole, into the lawn and shot her and after that himself in the back of the head with a 12-gauge shotgun. As indicated by this report, upon the FBI looking through the Mandalay Bay hotel room utilized by CIA weapons printer Stephen Paddock, a mobile phone charger was found that had no going with telephone with SVR innovation specialists noticing that this kind of charger is utilized to charge a CP502523.0 volts 600 mAh to non-rechargeable thin cell battery utilized as a part of different specialized gadgets by both U.S. Special Forces and CIA powers. The organization making this one-of-a-kind lithium battery, this report points of interest, is Ultra Life Corporation, situated in Newark, New York that represents considerable authority in military interchanges frameworks for the Pentagon, and whose lead build for this specific correspondence framework's advancement was John Bileman. Posting himself as an item outline and assembling proficient, this report proceeds with, John Bileman was utilized by Ultra Life Corporation between 2007 to 2012 where he chipped away at different best mystery correspondences frameworks for the U.S. military. From that point his leaving to end up plainly a best specialist at the General Motors Explorer office situated in Rochester, New York. Expecting that Ultra Life Corporation had been subtly channeling their U.S. military correspondences frameworks to the CIA, this report noticed, this past Tuesday, 3rd of October, the FBI attacked the home of John Bileman under a mystery U.S. federal court warrant, and that caused Bileman, under 12 hours after the fact, amid the early morning hours of Wednesday, 4th of October, to wheel out his extremely incapacitated little girl Nicole into his home's patio where she was executed, with Bileman at that point killing himself as well, and that was taken after 48 hours, 6th of October, by the Pentagon granting Ultra Life Corporation new contracts is teamed at over $49 million. The CIA, this report additionally notes, has for quite some time been known to wipe out observers to their murder relinquish false banner operations, and that incorporates the several witnesses strangely killed following the 9-11 tower sacrifice, and the, in like manner, many witnesses bafflingly biting the dust following the Lord's sacrifice murder of President John F. Kennedy, and that London's Sunday Times announced the chances against these witnesses being dead by February 1967 were 100,000 trillion to one. The FBI guaranteed they didn't ensure, or at any rate put under 24-hour reconnaissance, John Bileman following their assault on his home, because of American household insight encountering a labor lack in their Las Vegas slaughter examination. As indicated by DNC, John Bileman conferred the murder-suicide not long after 5.20 a.m., Fairport police say. Fairport police said Bileman's significant other, Donna Bileman, was inside the home and did not hear the shots that ended the life of her better half and little girl. Fairport Police Chief Samuel Farina said John Bileman deserted a farewell note to his significant other that showed the conditions of the shooting yet not a rationale. A neighbor of Bileman detailed that he saw two squad cars close to the home the day preceding the killings. Farina said for the current week that police had not reacted to any calls at the home. The FBI and government prosecutors declined to remark. A government justice judge would have affirmed an inquiry of the home. In any case, endorsement of a hunt does not guarantee a wrongdoing was carried out, rather, it is a look for proof of a wrongdoing. Records of government looks are frequently documented under seal and there was no open record accessible Friday of the hunt of the Fairport home. 